I've got this blade. This is a concrete cutting blade. I've had it probably 15 years waiting for this moment. I'm trying to think of an easy way to cut it and plasma cutter is an easy way to cut it. Uh, it used to hang under the bench. It would spin. It was a carousel with jars full of nuts, bolts, washers. It never got finished. It never got used. Anyway, I just took it down and I'm going to sketch out probably a straight line right across here. Maybe some kind of angle that comes up and then the handle would be straight. Let me get something traced on there. We'll clamp on some straight edges and in just a few minutes, we'll have a dull machete. So this is what I have so far, handle on this side and we'll sharpen this edge and that edge. That'll be our machete. Oh, and plenty of room to cut out more knives on this side, more knives on that side. This is 50 amps, 57 PSI. I'm going to realign my straight edge to this line, finish cutting it. It's about time to refill the water tray. And there's our machete. So I'm no weapons designer, I'm no machete designer, but this, I feel like it turned out really good. Nice and heavy, not flexible at all. Once we sharpen this edge and this edge and that edge and that edge, the handle might be a little bit too wide. We could always come, we could even do finger grooves if we wanted to. Put some wood on there, make a nice handle, smooth off this back. I like it. This, oh, oh, we could do a zombie weapons challenge. I've already got mine made. So on the zombie machete build, I was at work yesterday, I got bored, I drew some pictures. Anyway, I'm thinking on the handle, it's already too wide, but if we could put some finger grips in there, that would make it just about perfect. So this is what I have for the handle. Except we get the wood on there, that's pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead with that hook on the tip of the blade, or if you wanna call it a can opener or a bottle opener. The boy he walked through, he's kind of my zombie expert. He said go for it, so we're gonna go for it. And this will be freehand, uh, and they say to always pull, it makes a better cut. I'm gonna try pushing and pulling. It's a smooth metal, it should work. So we'll push it this way, and then pull it back that way. It ain't the best, but we'll clean up with the grinder. Freehand.
this is how the hook turned out. I like it. it looks good. The next step, we're going to sharpen the whole blade, polish it up a bit, and then add a handle, and we can start testing it. So I'm just getting home from work. I did a 12-hour shift. Tomorrow I do a 12-hour shift. Then next week I only work two days, Wednesday and Thursday. Gotta love next week's schedule. If you can find a job with 12-hour shifts, I only work half the days of the year. Anyway, on the uh, lunch break today, we get an hour lunch break. I went to the hardware store. I got this 3 16 brass rod. That's for the handle. I've got this epoxy to put the handle on. I've got this drill bit. I want to make a few more holes. I might put three brass rods in there. Anyway, the drill bit was on clearance for two bucks. And then I found some 180 grit sandpaper. That should smooth it up a little bit. It was 65 cents a sheet on clearance. So I just made a third hole. We can have three pins in the handle. I made these little holes, something for the epoxy to grab hole too. Then we started sanding it this way, sanding it that way. I believe as far as the finish is, we're done with the finish. Our next step, we're gonna put the handle on, let the epoxy dry, sand it down, seal it. Then we can start chopping stuff. So if you need a full shot of the blade, there it is. I am loving it. The boy said leave the rust on there. It makes it look more legit. We can do that. He's my zombie expert. Next step, handle, and we're done with it. So I'm doing a dry fit on the handle. I think it's going to go together just fine. It is now time to take it apart, mix the epoxy, then put it together. So the handle is all glued together. I've got it cleaned up as good as I can. I've got it clamped. I'm gonna leave it just like that for 24 hours. So just the other day, Mike and Larry, shout out to Mike and Larry, they were giving me two lawnmowers, a Craftsman and a Murray. While I was there, he said, hey, do you need a belt sander? I don't know how he knew I needed a belt sander. Anyway, I just picked up some belts for it. I'm about to test it on this handle. So the handle sides are very smooth. I'm gonna hit this part. Then I got some polyurethane to spray on it. Here's how the handle turned out. Might be the best part of the whole machete. So just ran the belt sander over the edge. I think that's sharp enough. I'm gonna go ahead and polyurethane the handle. Once it dries, this baby's done. So I have polyurethane in a spray can. I've never used polyurethane in a spray can. Let's see how it does. that dry I'm gonna put a couple more coats on we can call it done let's put on coat number two it's looking good I almost feel like they copied me just not as nice it even has the zombie gut hook 
So it's time to test the Zombie Slayer machete. I've got this pineapple that represents a zombie head. It's about the right shape. He's kind of short. I've also got a coconut. That would be the skull. You gotta get to the brain. That'd be the skull of the zombie. I don't know how that's gonna go. I've also got a can drink just so we can splatter it. Ready? That was easy. Let's move to the pineapple. That was easy. Let's move to the coconut. And we're using this coconut to represent the zombie skull. The pineapple was too easy. This might be too hard. Almost lit the fence post. Hey, hand me that drink while you're at it. We're supposed to shake it first. Coconut, zombie brains. So I can do this, or we could go ahead and use the gut spike. That should have been slow motion. Thanks for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Call me if you have any zombies.